Rock, rock. What a strange code name. Two times the rock, does that mean two times the power? Let's talk about that in this video. To understand about rock, rock, let's first understand Mac the Chord Casters. We're gonna place a right on top of Crown Slayer facing downwards, and look at the cute little thing flying beside Rock Rock's head. That's her drone that is helping her to attack Crown Slayer at the same time. This drone has 20% of Rock Rock's attack, but whenever it attacks the same target, each time will ramp up its attack by 15%, going all the way up to a maximum of 110%. But if the drone were to switch its target onto someone else, it will actually drop its attack all the way back down to 20%. So for Mech Accord casters, it's very important to use that damage bonus by making sure they attack the same target all the time. I'm gonna place a mountain right over here. And then let me turn on his skill, while I also prepare to turn on Rock Rock's skill too. So the skill 2 states that her ASPD, her attack speed, will increase by 60 and releases drone to attack enemies. Now, these two enemies are walking away, and I'm going to turn on Rock Rock's skill at this point. Take a look at what it can do. Now, even though Crown Slayer is outside of Rock Rock's range, the drone is still continuing to attack her. The reason for that is that her second skill states that the drone locks onto an enemy until the enemy is defeated or until the skill is over. So hence, the drone will continue to try to kill Crown Slayer, and only when it's done, will it go back to Rock Rock. Now even though I can stun Rock Rock, just as you see over here, the drone will still continue to attack the Crown Slayer until she's defeated. So it's a really really interesting way to use Mega Cork Casters. Let's do the same thing against Skull Chakra. I'm gonna place Rock Rock over here facing downwards, and then we'll wait out until her skill can actually be used again. I'm gonna have an April over here, she's gonna help me eliminate some drones later. And then have a Silver Ash as a bait, so as to distract uh, Skull Shatterer from attacking Rock Rock. Now once this guy is killed, I'm gonna turn on Rock Rock's skill. And notice that even though her skill is coming to an end, towards the end of it, from an orange bar, it turns to a red bar. So the reason for this red bar is that this is her overload skill. Overload states that the max drone damage increases to 1.7 times, which is about 170% of Rock Rock's attack. And the attack of both Rock Rock and the drone will increase by 50%. When the skill ends, Rock Rock will get stunned for the same duration that you use the overload. We don't care about the stun first, but just take a look at how the overload is helping the drone to dish out a huge amount of damage. And this is enabling you to almost kill Skull Shatterer. This is an E1 Mud Rock. This is an E1 Rock Rock that I'm using over here, but if it's E2, you can clearly see it will work. Or if you just add a little bit of damage, Skull Shatterer will definitely be killed. But let me give you a lesson on repositioning, because sometimes it's not about the level of your operators, but where you place them. So in this case, I'm going to wait until Skull Shatterer reaches the middle part of the map, and then at this point, I'll place in an April along with a Rock Rock. And then Silver Ash will again be a bait um, using a skill 2. I'll turn it on as a distraction in a little while. So the moment Skull Shatterer appears right in front of Rock Rock, I'll actually turn on a skill. Now the benefit of switching Rock Rock from where it was just now to here is that now Rock Rock can actually co op no cohesively togetherly attack Mr. Skull Shatterer right over here together with a drone. So we've doubled the arts damage that's going into Skull Shatterer right now. This allows you to dish out the necessary little bit of arts damage in order to make the difference. Here's one final display for Rock Rock, and notice that I haven't even introduced Rock Rock Scale 1. The reason is that Rock Rock Scale 1 is a generic ASPD increase, which is very much like her Scale 2, except that her Scale 2 has the overload effect that you can use in very tight situations where you want the extra damage. Hence, Scale 2 is an automatic upgrade from Scale 1, and you'll probably never be using Scale 1. So I'm just gonna place Rock Rock right here. And I want you to take notice of her attack. It currently reads that it's 384. But let's place the needed blocks. And before I turn on Rock Rock's skill, look at her attack this time. It just went up from 384 to 403. Why is that so? This is because of her talent. Her talent reads that for every 15 seconds that she's on the battlefield, she gets additional attack, stacking up to 4 times. So this means that for an operator like Rock Rock, if you can do so, it is really much better that you put her early in the battlefield so that she can get that attack bonus. Alright, she's in overload mode and once she kills that guy, I can just stop her skill so that it allows her skill to charge up much faster. 
The great thing about Rock Rock Skill 2 being a skill that you can turn on and off is that you can use it in the best points in time. So for example at this part where there may be too many enemies that swarming in right now, what I can just do is I'll just turn on Rock Rock Skill in order to assist. And then maybe after this little wave of enemy is pretty much like done and clear, I can just stop skill so that I can charge it back up for more important things, which in this case, I'm going to use her skill against the Heavy Defender Lieutenant. This is an Elite 2 Mud Rock. This is an Elite 2 Rock Rock that I've borrowed over here. So she's going to perform a little bit better. Let's turn on her skill. And then her drone is going to focus fire on whichever enemy is close to the blue box. I think the Defender Lieutenant is not considered the nearest to the blue box for now, but it's okay. She's still helping to clear out all of the other smaller mobs. Okay, now she can finally focus on the Defender. And then she's gonna go into a stun mode, which is fine. We'll just let her stay stunned. But the danger about letting her stay stunned is notice that, you know, if she can support Mudrock right now, it would have been a lot nicer. But alright, the crisis is averted, and now we have a bigger one, which is Big Adam, that we have to kill. So there's a lot of these smaller mobs. For now, they won't swarm my mud rock too hard since it's just um, a few enemies. I just need to take note of the block count to make sure that it's not too overwhelming. All right, at this point, I'll actually turn on the skill since there's quite a bit of enemies coming in. Okay, right before Big Adam actually gets into mud rock's range, what I'll do is I'll actually remove this block and then place it back. Right? And then, I'm going to actually send Big Adam back down. And I'm going to annoy him by going back again. So the reason that I'm doing this is to just use Rock Rock to pierce through some of his HP. And then she's going to get stunned, but it's fine. We'll let that happen. And before this guy even reaches this point, then I'll place a block back. Uh, I forgot to retreat this block. I am Pepega. Oh no, I'm going to leak one. Uh, assume that that didn't happen. <laughs> what a great display. And then I'm going to use Rock skill against Mr. Big Adam right here. So her drone's going to focus on attacking him. She's going to deal a little bit of painful damage onto Mud Rock, but not too bad because she has a shield. And then there you go. The stage pretty much done and dusted with one leak, but that leak wasn't supposed to happen because I was a little dumb. A final conversation for Rock Rock is about her against the other Mech Accord casters because compared to these Mech Accord casters that a lot of people are familiar with like Click and Golden Blow, Rock Rock's biggest issue is that she doesn't provide utility. Utility as in things like slow, bind, stun and freeze. Rock Rock is a pure damaging operator, pretty much like Minimalist. But compared to Minimalist and actually compared to all the other Mech Accord casters, Rock Rock has one of the biggest damage that she can dish out onto the enemies. Because of the fact that her overload actually scales up the drone's attack and her own attack so damn high, she might even surpass the overall damage that even a Golden Blow can provide. So hence, there is huge potential for Rock Rock, but it is a lot better if you can pair her together with operators that can support the utility that other Mech Accord casters would have done with things like stun and slow. Would I be recommending you to build a Rock Rock however? My honest opinion is it depends. If let's say you do not have a lot of casters in your account that's built, maybe you only still have an Amiya and no other interesting 5 stars or 6 stars, then I think Rock Rock could be a good option to go for. If you do have a lot of strong casters already in your account, your account is looking like this where you've got a Golden Glow, a Kyobi, an Aya, then the amount of help that Rock Rock can bring into your account is not as significant. And then it just comes down to the question of whether you like her a lot. If you consider her as one of your waifus or you just really like her aesthetic and you want to build her to Elite 1, you can do so. You want to go beyond Elite 1 and go to Elite 2, it's not a bad investment. Like I said, Rock Rock has one of the biggest amount of arts damage that you can dish out. The only issue is you're not holding enemies in place so that your other operators like Taunts, your Blaze can help to support the fight. So. That's pretty much what I will put for Rock Rock. Hopefully this video gave you guys an understanding for her. And if not, I shall see you in future Operator Showcases. Take care. Bye bye.